What's up fam? Good morning. We're going on a morning stroll. Maddie wanted to get out of her stroller. She did not want to sit in it any longer. However, we were not there yet. What do you see? Is that daddy? Is that daddy? Hi daddy. He just got back from dropping off Landon. We were almost done with our walk, but we weren't quite back to the house yet. And so she's like, I want up, 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 up. And I was like, no, you have to sit down because I just cannot physically hold her and push the stroller anymore. And so she was like, well, baby so she gave me the baby at least her baby gets up she saved her baby from the torture of sitting in the stroller for the record she wanted this she loved this she begged me to go on a walk that's how we're on a walk i guess she's just done with it that plumbing truck is the most hilarious plumbing truck i've ever seen in my life like you just have to look at that and laugh you ready to get out now yeah yeah okay uh oh she messed up her hair oh, yeah. dang it <laughs> so cute yeah. Are you ready for ballet? I don't know where the bow is. Oh, oh bummer. There it is. She's got it. Oh, you got your bow? You know where she put it. You know where you put it, huh? You ready to go to ballet? Let's go dance. Hey. Say, I did it. Anyway, go bye bye. All right, let's go. She thought the other room was gymnastics. So. Yeah, she did. That's exactly what she thought. She's so used to going to her gymnastics class, she just hangs on the bars the whole time. This is ballet, not gymnastics. Go. Go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we just got home and we have a few different things to do this afternoon and I walked in to go grab something and I realized that Kyson left his homework on the table and he forgot to turn it in. That makes me so sad for him. Like I hate it. Hated for getting it. He did it. He actually did it completely by himself too, which is <sighs> That makes me so sad for him. So I'm gonna go drop it off It's probably a little bit too late now to turn it in. I don't know. Maybe he can still turn it in I'm not sure but I'm gonna go take it to the office at least that way he has somewhat of a chance but the <laughs> It broke my little heart, especially him because he's just such a sensitive soul. So it's, I know as soon as he went into his backpack to grab his homework and he saw that it wasn't there, he probably just hurt inside and that just kills me. So I'm going to go drop it off. Poor thing. Daddy, what happened? What did you do? Did you go poopoo -poo in the potty? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Don't do it! She kept telling me, and I kept checking her diaper. I was like, there's nothing in there. And I'm like, wait, maybe she needs to go. And I ran to the bathroom where I put her little seat on, and like, instantly. No! Yeah. Oh my gosh, you did it! You did it! I'm so proud of you! Give me a hug! I'm so proud of you! Yeah! High five! So whenever she says, says like either pee pee or poo poo, just take her to the bathroom yeah. and I mean, I've been doing it for the pee pee part. Mommy's baby is not a baby for much longer. She's potty training herself. Right? She's not even two. She's still one. She's still one. She's like, she's got like, she's like 1.8. <laughs> she's got like two months before she turns two. Oh my God, she's so big. <laughs> you did it. Obviously you guys know, the kids are back at school. If you guys haven't seen their first day of school video, Go check that one out. But with the first day of school comes the first day of tons and tons of other people's germs in your house. So I'm gonna get my handy dandy little cleanup kit ready for the school year. Thank goodness I'm working with Clorox this year because you guys all know I'm gonna need it up in this house with all these kids and all these germs and yada, yada, yada. So the kids' first day of school has come and gone, like I said, but we also had the first week of cold to go through our house. After the very first week of school, Monday morning hits us, the following Monday morning, and they all wake up with the sniffles, they all wake up with the runny nose, and they all wake up with tons of germs. That's right, they all had a cold. The cold has since then passed through the house and I'm doing everything in my power to prevent it this year. We got the flu so bad in our house last year. You guys know I got pneumonia. So this year I'm like really, really, really trying hard to keep as many germs as I can out of this house. And really the only way to do that is to like make sure you soak your house in this Clorox. I literally buy the huge pack at Costco. They have like a big huge pack of this Clorox stuff. I have their whole line of products. I really honestly genuinely own, I think, every Every product of their entire line. For this back to school season, Clorox is doing a match offer with DonorsChoose.org. So basically for every $5 that you spend on a qualifying Clorox product, you will earn a $1 reward and Clorox will match that and donate a dollar to DonorsChoose.org. DonorsChoose.org allows teachers across America to create products and request resources for their classrooms and stuff that they need throughout the school year. 
I thought that was really cool, especially since my mom is a teacher and you know, my kids are being taught by teachers on a daily basis. You can make a donation directly by visiting donorshoes.org where teachers post the different materials that they need and different requests that they have for things for their classroom. I went ahead and actually donated straight to the website. So if you guys are interested, I'll have a link to that below. So if you guys wanna do the same thing, I will have a link down in the description for you guys to donate. It really does nothing except support all of our teachers and all of our kids indirectly. Of course, I'm also donating indirectly by buying these specific Clorox products. So I'm gonna be continuing you know I'm gonna be continuing because there's lots of kids and lots of germs in this house. One thing that I've really gotten better at, I think, throughout the years of being, you know, a mom is figuring out what spots you need to clean, figuring out which spots carry the most germs. Things like door handles are things that one might not think to clean first. Like most of them you just think of like, you know, countertops, but anything where those little hands touch, that's where you wanna get things like this. Oh, yeah. Things like this. <laughs> things like this. One thing I'm interested in is figuring out what you guys think is the messiest part of your house. Let me know what part should I be focusing on cleaning. For me, like doorknobs are the nastiest thing. I hate touching doorknobs without cleaning them first. What do you think? And also what age is the messiest for your children? I read that 60% of parents say that toddlerhood is the messiest age for you guys. What do you think? Babies, preteens, germ wise, I definitely think big kids are. School age, elementary school. So yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think and check out those links that I have down in the description. I'm walking to get the kids from school and there's somebody following me. Won't stop following me. I don't know. Look at him. He looks like a creeper too. Look at him. I'm just gonna pick up what you're dropping. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's actually coming with me to pick up the kids for once. Normally, they get out at the same time. Lana gets out at the same time as the big kids do, but it's a minimum day for the big kids today. So I was like, "Come with me, walk with me." And he's like, "I don't want to walk." Oh, did I really drop That's a shoe? Oh, I, pick up what dropping. <laughs> I didn't know I actually dropped a shoe. I've got so much stuff in this stroller. See, so watch, hold it really quickly. This is how we roll right here. They see me rolling. It's like Target threw up on you. <laughs> there's three, I was gonna say three strollers. There's three scooters in there. There's two pairs of shoes. There's a baby. My camera was sitting in there. There's a phone. There's a, a real baby in there. <laughs> there's hand sanitizer. There's someone's hot hubby pushing it. Oh, there's wipes? Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. I'm prepared for an apocalypse. If anything happens on the way to pick up the kids from school, like, don't mess with me. I got everything. I'll hit you upside with the scooter. Why is it recording? I just came back from school. Okay, bye. Do you guys want to know what? What? Guess what Addie did today when you guys were at school. What? She pooped in the potty. I'm so proud of her. Oh, <laughs> he's so sweet. I'm so funny. I just want her to be my little baby forever. Oh. You guys are so sweet. I like that you guys are excited for your little sister. Kane's outside playing with Landon. They're getting some of their energy out there. Although no, today is dance no, day, so no, we're gonna. Yes, yes, you yes. Know yes. Why what? I don't want to go outside. Why? I'm tired. You're tired. Okay. We'll get some rest because you guys have um, all of your dance classes today. They've been loving it. I love how into it they've been getting. It's so sweet, and I love to watch them because obviously, like, it makes me proud. Like, I used to be a dancer, but I do want to say too that it's not anything that I would ever ever force them to do. If they didn't want to do it, I would take them out. I'm not gonna be one of those parents that forces their kid to do something that they did as a child just because they did it as a child, but they do express an interest in it, and I think they're still young. They're still trying to figure out what things that they really want to like pursue in their life. And so I thought it was a great opportunity to introduce this to them. So my little heart is happy knowing that they like it. But you know, I mean, who knows how long they'll continue to do it. I hope they do it for a while, but I think this year is really gonna be a successful year for them. They've been, all five of them have been enjoying it so much. This one's doing super well on her competition team. I always peek in there when I can to see how they're doing. I can't wait for your first competition. So I always struggle with putting Lilia's hair in a bun and letting it stay or making it stay. So I'm trying the braid bun today and it turned out so cute because her hair is so thick. This is literally just one braid, like a normal braid. And then I wrapped it around, yes child, yes. Do you want that? Look at how cute that is. And then uh, some of the girls on her team put the bow up behind. So cute girlfriend, do you like it? I love it. I showed it to her and she was like, can you do a boomerang of me? And I was like, yes girl, of course. So we're back home now and the kids Begged me to do some chores. Yes, begged. I'm not making that up. <laughs> Look what I found. 
Alina came over to hang out. Lilia's still at dance. Those two are doing the dishes. This one is break dancing slash cleaning the playroom. Supposed to be anyway. Looks like he's mostly break dancing now. <laughs> Little update for you guys on the chore situation. It is going great. I think they're only excited about it because they know that they can earn iPad time, but I don't even care. They earn, they deserve every bit of that 30 minutes that they're earning right now. They love it and it really makes them like look forward to doing the chores. They just like, I've never heard a kid go, can I please do chores? So that's what they do and I ever and that's a wrap you guys it's obviously a lot 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 later and everybody is sound asleep so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video good night